What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over some AQ3D and Adventure Quest Worlds news. Let's get in to the video. What's going on? Welcome back. What's up? My name's Corey, and yes, I do have some AIDS growing on my forehead at the moment. Uh, doesn't matter what you do, it doesn't go away for some reason. That's not HIV, but full-blown AIDS. So Z has a very, 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 okay, too many varies, but it's a very nice looking Paragon sort of no gas. I don't know what this is. It just looks amazing, and I wanted to show you it. I probably showed it to you in another news video, but here it is again. Oh, it just looks so good. <laughs> and Mehmet, very, very criticized for the solar naval, is coming at us with a lunar pirate captain armor, which looks very, very nice. Word of the day, very overused in chorus videos. Okay. So it sparkles, it's got sparkly animation on the hat, the pet, and also the armor, which looks... What's a word I can say other than looks nice. It looks nice. It doesn't have to look very nice. It looks nice, okay? It's a nice looking sparkly armor, and uh, you can get it. There's a male version also, but the male version, of course, looks way worse. So let's move on to the next thing. AQ 3D. Launching into open beta in October. Um, none of the actual staff or Arctic Entertainment announced this. I think Cicero retweeted uh, a post from Massively Overpowered, which I went to the website, and I guess it's like an MMO website sort of thing where they talk about MMO news there, and sorry about that. Um, so yeah, it's been confirmed that it's going into open beta in October. I would take that with a grain of salt uh, because... The uh, server rewrite should have been done in, uh, like, two years ago. Okay. Here's an animation from Walgoween in AQ3D. This actually might make me level up my character in AQ3D because, oh my god. That looks pretty, it looks pretty cool. You gotta be honest, that's a good animation. I love it. And it looks very, very nice. Maybe those will be enemies. Maybe that'll just be an NPC. Who knows, but that looks very cool, and that will be in the Mulgoween update. Expect that update around the same time as the Mulgoween update for Adventure Quest Worlds. Ah, oh, can't wait. Uh, here's also an armor that will be coming out in Mulgoween for AQ3D. A 3D Pumpkin Lord armor looks very cool. Of course, it's not finished yet. If you could not tell by the lack of texture... Uh, but it has to be low texture detail because it's also going to be played on mobile phones, so they can't do high texture stuff. Uh, they could, but they would have to do two different versions of the texture, and that would take double the amount of time for each art, or or like 175% more time because you'd have to uh, detail the original version. Maybe they'll do that in the future for arts that come out later in Adventure Quest 3D, but at the moment they're only doing the low uh, art. So, uh, it's equivalent to like if you turn your textures to low in a video game, like say you're playing The Witcher and you put your textures down to low, they're only making the low texture. Uh, they could technically make a high texture or like an ultra texture, uh, but they're not going to do that because it takes more time like I just explained. So, also, also, they're going to fix the friends list, so this is good. Uh, I was hoping they wouldn't ignore it and leave it the same way. Uh, so apparently they're going to add a friends list and then you can just go to your friends by going into your friends list and going to them, which is nice. Uh, it's a lot like how it'll work in AQW, uh, Adventure Quest World, the current Adventure Quest game that everyone's playing. Uh, hopefully one day AQ3D will be good enough that a lot of people move over it to it. And this is one of the big steps in that. So there's no clue when this is coming out. They say it might, it'll take a while at the bottom here. Uh, it's very primitive, very broken. Uh, but it should come out sometime in the future. Okay, we have the confirmed event for this year, Vampires and Lycan Pirates Battle for the Midnight Crown. So that's the MacGuffins, the Midnight Crown, and uh, the Pirates and the... Or, well, I guess they're pirates, but they're pirate vampires. Are they, are they pirate vampires, or are they just normal vampires? Are there three factions, or just two? This is confusing, but it sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, last year, of course, we had the uh, event made by Zeraldo. Very nice event. I liked that one last year. 
and hopefully this year's event lives up to last year's event. Uh, here is, I don't know why I threw this in here, uh, but this is the, oh yeah, I now I know why. So this is Solar Naval. This is the naval that's also going to come out at the same time this Friday with Deja's naval. I can't believe it's this Friday. It's a few days away. Today's Monday. It's only a few more days away. That's crazy. So this is the female and male versions. We have only seen a male version of this naval. The female version might look a lot better, honestly. It probably does because usually when Mehmet makes something, uh, he always makes the male version look a lot nicer. Uh, so... That could be a thing, or the female version, I meant to say. The female version, he always makes a lot nicer looking. So the female version could be a lot better. Uh, this is the last uh, update we've had for this naval. Uh, we haven't had a female version or any helmets or any accessories to go with this naval. Uh, we don't know what's happening with it. He's got a lot of hate over it, honestly. I don't think it's that good of a naval, but I don't think... But I think it's a good armor. I like the armor. If there was just like if this popped up in a Friday's rare shop on a normal Friday, I would definitely purchase it. Uh, but I think people overhype and over like they they really hold the navel to a high standard, and I think that they're not too happy with this one. Uh, so yeah, that's that. And that is all the news for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like down below. And I recorded most of this video with no chin. Let's... Okay. Okay. Okay, that's silly. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it. Alright, I already said that. Outros are awkward. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace. Click the video in the top right corner if you haven't seen it yet. And I'll see you all in the next one.